to stop it uh, and to say if we ever potentially want to do that, we can stick it straight back on us. Um, I just, it worries me that um, they're unwilling to do that. And again, read into that what you will. Um, I say we, we do have the chance on Thursday. Um, and I think we've got to go with the opinion that uh, we have plans. We obviously will tell them exactly what we're going to do. It's not just on the pitch, it's off the pitch as well. Um, and, and it's how much local support we can get, get for that and, and what, what public support, support and opinion does to try and sway that opinion. Um, so that's where we are on that. Um, right, as a, as a board um, and volunteers, and I, I, believe we're, I believe we're quite ambitious. Um, and I believe that you know, we, we probably match the, the ambitions of our, our first team manager as well. Um, so we, we want progression on and off the pitch, if you, if you, if you go with it. And I, and I believe that has to go hand in hand. You know, it's no point having the, the best facilities and a, and a poor team, and, and vice versa. It's no point having a, a great team and, and, and poor facilities. So, you know, it, for me, it doesn't... Um, Cold football club means these different things to different people. Um, you know, whether you're a, a parent bringing your, your five-year-old to, to the academy for his first, first journey on, on sport, on football, uh, whether you're a, a fan or a player yearning the success, or again, from the local area, you're, you're basically a local resident and you're, lo you're looking for the, the prosperity of, of the town as well. Uh, and I think we're all, in, the, in, the, in all honesty, we're all looking for some sort of the, the same thing, something that can that can be a a hub, uh, can can be something that that Colm itself can be proud of, whether it's sporting wise, you know, on, on and off the pitch, something that we can all use. Um, now I've I've said many times that I believe um, Colm's Colm Football Club should be should be one. Uh, and I know, we're, and I know you're going to get it where it's a little bit divided. You know, you got your juniors, you've got your seniors. I, I get that at our level. You, we're going to get that. Um, but my idea is, um, is that over a, over a period of time, we, we will bring everybody closer. And that, that in fairness, will, will probably happen with, with the facilities. The more you now, I've, I've been up here and, and purposely over the last couple of Saturdays, just to see what was on. Because um, people will tell you that you've got a team here, a team there, twelve there, the four teams there, um, and I mean, I were slightly amazed at how many kids we, we do have up here, and and then I you know you talk to people and yeah they're training in a mud bath and they they haven't played a match a league game since November, uh, and don't get me wrong it's not it's not just it's not just in Cole it's it's throughout probably throughout the, the country at the moment but I go back to. People, you know, as I would keep people get involved in, in football, kids especially, they get involved to play. They don't get involved to train. They love it as much as they, you know, as, as they do, but they get, enjoyed, they get involved in sport and it's, it's great for them to, to play. Now, the idea is if we can, we can get a facility uh, and, and down to the, the idea of a, a 3G pitch, which I'll go into in a little bit more detail, it's not just for the, the purpose of the first team. It's for the purpose of the whole community, whether we, we rent it out on additional income, whether we the, the juniors use it, uh, they train on it, they play on it, um, we have academy football running on it. it it's for everybody to use. Um, I've wrote these this morning, so you can. Uh, and I've, I've crossed them out and I've started again, and I've, I've got backwards and forwards about what I, what I wanted to say. So um, now again. Um, in this area, we are currently the, the highest ranked local team behind Burnley. Um, and again, I think you'll agree, that as good as as, well, as, good as facilities, try and make as facilities are, we will, we will struggle um, for any FA ground grade the higher the higher up we go, unfortunately. Uh, to get to National League, I, th I think we'd, we'd really struggle. Uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of investment in the potentially doing what we're going to have to try and do now. But it's not just, it's also not just improving, it's we're, we're restricted by runoffs and different different laws and different criteria that does come in. Um, and again, 
we're only two promotions off, off struggling to actually be able to be promoted, which sounds silly, but who'd have thought last year they got to the playoffs? Who'd have thought October last year we'd have been thinking, you know what, we, we could just do this. Um, you know, you look around as, as teams got an average age of, of 20, that stays together. Uh, it's, 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 it's only gonna it's only gonna get better. Uh, so I go back to it's only two promotions. It is only two promotions. It could it could easily happen. Um, can we stick the, the first first one? I uh, spent a bit of a bit of time drawing these up. Now again, nothing's nothing perfect. Nothing set in stone. Uh, like I said earlier, we're open to questions. I'm open for ideas as well as questions. It, it's not it's not definitive and it's not perfect. And if somebody wants to come with a better idea than me, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all ears. Um, but quite briefly, the, the blue line gives us the roughly what we currently own on our, on our lease. Um, the additional red is what I've asked for as part of the, the proposed asset transfer. Um, the, re the reason. Um, the reason that the reason I've done it uh, in one way is again that the the what I think it's on the pitch for the postage stamp. The, the reason I've asked for it um, is more because again I see the I see the juniors potentially trying to play on here, potentially trying to play in this little area here, um, and I think if we're gonna gonna develop, we have to we have to give them somewhere somewhere to play. Uh, but somewhere that's obviously, if we, whatever we get, we get the lease, we get the asset transfer. My proposal is to, to fence it all off, to make it secure, uh, so we don't have dogs walking over it. We don't have people using it and, and ruining it as well. You know, it's for the sole purpose of Cole Football Club, of the juniors, uh, to give them somewhere where you know you can call home, you, are, you can play your home games in common. What you can what you can see is. This is the proposed new, new clubhouse, uh, new stand, uh, and that'll that'll house uh, a sports bar, uh, a hospitality and function area, uh, along with the new changing rooms, first aid room, and whatever else we have to have at, at this level. Um, it's quite obvious that we've we've moved it we've moved it up, uh, and that's for for the, the sole reason that we're never ever going to get this this pitch straight. Um, so it, it is in stages. Uh, the idea is to build this while we're still playing uh, in here, because again, I don't, I don't want to foresee a, a period when we're, we're playing, we're playing away from home. Uh, and again, that's partly from a revenue, revenue point of view. Uh, so we will build this, and it, it sort of needs to move up and, and be a little bit this way. Um, and that's because I, I don't want to give up on the dream of potentially having a. A 3G playing surface. Uh, again, for the fact that we, we know we're going to be on on a Saturday, uh, but it, it's, it's much more than that. The first team can train, like I said, but the junior section can use it. We can use it as a community centre, and it, it can be used for its full purpose throughout throughout the week. Um, there's no there's no limit on it. You know, we can we can use it whenever. We can use it Saturday mornings prior to game. We can use it Sundays. Uh, we'll get we'll get we'll get full use out of it. Um, next next one, then, please. Uh, no, like I say, like I say, you can see how, how far we are we are moving it up. I think it comes to just above the 18 yard box, really. Uh, again, to negate the to negate the the, the dish. Um, next section is obviously I want to I want to provide a bit more secure parking for, for what we've got. Uh, instead of trying to jump around the, the council parking or, or leave it around here, uh, and we've we've calculated. I think we can get is it 250 spaces spaces in there. So again, that's the the next step is next step on on that one. Um, next next one, please. Oh, oh yeah. And then the longer term, it allows us to to bring in now whether it's. Whether it's the size, whether it's standing uh, on the other three sides, whether we put more seats in, again, depends on what league we're in and what we need to do. But what it what it does give us is um, the potential to.
to grow as, as we grow as a as a as a club. Again, I'm talking I'm talking first team on this, but it does give us the, the potential to grow. Uh, and and I know what, now people people say that your your juniors will, will will bring you bring you through and, and hopefully play for the first team. And you know, hopefully we can get one or two two that two through and you know, hopefully we we can put put that in front of people where they can play for the first team. But at the same time it's I don't think it's any secret what our what our model has been since October. You know, we've 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 gone for a, a completely new idea, a bit of a, a risky one to be fair, where we went young. Uh, we went without experience and it you know, apart from three, four that, that stayed around, it, it, it could've it could have smacked us in the face. Um, the ones that did stay well, we, we wrapped them on contracts so they couldn't walk away. Let's be fair. <laughs> uh, but, but I think that you know, I think Connie will tell you as we go back into the question. They've been great. They've brought the the younger ones on, and I think having a facility that will match our ambitions allows us to bring in those sort of lads as well. It allows us to to bring in the lads like your currents that have been released from a from a pro football club. It allows us to the chance to develop them a little bit further. Um, move them on because I'm no, I'm not stupid. I, I realise where we sit at this at this moment in time in the pecking order. We're going to get 18 year old kids in there who, who have a dream of being professional footballers. We are, you know, I still dream of being a professional footballer. I'm 41, so it's never, it's never, never going to happen when I'm 18. So, but we, we're still going to get them in, uh, and if we can develop and we can move them on, that is going to have to be our model until we get to where where we want to be. Now, whether our tipping point is National League, where we go further, you know, who only knows? Could you do another Fleetwood? Again, I think it'd be hard because the money that's come into it. But in the long term, you know, what I would say is that it's it's self it's self funded is the club to a point. I think if you want to progress, you, there's only so far you can go by going capping on to every every sponsor year after year after year. Eventually, you know, you're going to have a downturn in someone's business, and it's, it's happened not so long ago where a sponsor can pull out, and you're left in a struggle. Now, for me, if if Con Football Club has its own way of making money, to a point, it has its own facilities, it, it, it owns its own revenue stream. <coughs> There's nobody that's going to say you can't get forward, uh, and that is the whole purpose of of what I'm sort of trying to do here, it's, it's, yeah, it's, to, it's to build something short and long term, um, and that's, that's where it is. It's for the longevity of the, of the club and, and the community really. Um, and I think that's, that's roughly me done. Um, as we progress forward, and I, I don't know if we'll, we'll try and wait a bit more deep, but as we, as we progress forward, we will always need volunteers, uh, and I know that the, the people that do match days and, and weekdays, they're completely stretched to the limit. Now, if anybody does have spare time, who can help us get to where we want to be, uh, well, you've only got to stick your hand up and give us a shout. So AL is welcome, definitely. Uh, but a little bit can, can go a long way. But, uh, that's me done, but thank you for listening. <laughs>